How does a thunderstorm form? A thunderstorm is a complex weather phenomenon that forms through a combination of atmospheric conditions. Here is an in-depth explanation of the formation process. Moisture and instability. Thunderstorms require warm, moist air and an unstable atmosphere. Moisture typically originates from bodies of water like oceans, lakes, or even moist soil. As the sun heats the Earth's surface, the air near the ground warms up and becomes more humid. This warm, moist air rises due to its lower density compared to the surrounding cooler air. Updraft formation. As the warm, moist air rises, it encounters cooler air in the upper atmosphere. This cooler air causes the warm air to cool rapidly, condensing the water vapor it carries. This condensation releases latent heat, which further warms the air parcel, making it buoyant. The buoyant air continues to rise rapidly, forming an updraft. Cumulus cloud development. The rising air cools as it ascends and reaches its dew point. The temperature at which the air becomes saturated and condensation occurs. This leads to the formation of cumulus clouds, which are characterized by their fluffy, cauliflower-like appearance. The updrafts within these clouds can reach speeds of up to 100 kilometers, 62 miles per hour. Mature stage. Within the cumulus cloud, the updrafts continue to rise, carrying water droplets and ice particles to higher altitudes. At this stage, the cloud becomes taller and denser, with a well-defined anvil-shaped top. The updrafts and downdrafts within the cloud separate, creating a turbulent environment. Electrification. As the cloud develops, the water droplets and ice particles within it collide and interact, leading to the separation of charges. The lighter ice particles acquire a positive charge, while the heavier water droplets acquire a negative charge. This charge separation creates an electric field within the cloud. Lightning formation. The electric field within the cloud intensifies until it eventually overcomes the insulating properties of the surrounding air. This results in a discharge of electricity known as lightning. Lightning can occur within the cloud itself, between different parts of the same cloud, or between the cloud and the ground. Thunder and rain. When lightning occurs, it rapidly heats the surrounding air to temperatures of up to 30,000 degrees Celsius, 54,000 degrees Fahrenheit. This causes the air to expand explosively, creating a shockwave that we perceive as thunder. The sound of thunder usually lags behind the flash of lightning due to the difference in speed between light and sound. Additionally, the intense updrafts and downdrafts within the cloud cause precipitation to form, resulting in rainfall, sometimes accompanied by hail. Dissipation. Eventually, a thunderstorm weakens and dissipates due to various factors such as cooling temperatures, decreasing moisture supply, or encountering stable atmospheric conditions. The rain and downdrafts in the storm system help to cool the surrounding air, reducing the updraft strength and eventually leading to the dissipation of the thunderstorm. It's important to note that thunderstorms can vary in size, intensity, and duration. Some thunderstorms may be relatively short-lived, while others can persist for several hours. 
moving across large areas. Thanks for watching. Please like and share this video. Also hit the subscribe button. Ring the notification bell. And let's embark on a journey of knowledge together.